One of the interesting things that's going on right now is if you look at the world economy, sort of the old important economies, the US, Europe, and Japan, are not doing all that well. There, there's been some recovery, but you don't see particularly rapid growth in any of those countries. Uh, where it's the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, and really not so much Russia, but Brazil, Russia, India, and China, that are growing quite rapidly at an 8 to 10 percent clip. And so in light of this, you might think, well, the opportunities for investment are in these other countries and not so much in the older places. And yet what we're finding is investors have become very cautious, and so they like to go to places they know. And the places they know seem to be the five biggest U.S. cities, which are New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Washington. Washington actually isn't one of the five biggest, but it's one of the most stable markets in the country. And so we're seeing capitalization rates in those markets on trophy properties go down quite dramatically and people buying stuff at very high prices. The other markets that look like this are London. Uh, and the London office market is doing remarkably well. Canary Wharf has an occupancy rate of about 97 percent. Rents are well in excess of $100 a square foot, so that's very expensive real estate. Investors seem to like it. They like Tokyo, even though Japan isn't doing particularly well. They like Sydney. Australia is doing pretty well. They like Singapore. Singapore is doing well. And they like Hong Kong. Uh, but they're going not to the emerging places, they're going to the places that they know where they've been investing for years. And so what that underscores is the importance of not just having economic growth, although that is very important, but certainty.